I was totally expecting this new exclusive Goku to be just another Goku figure, but it really isn't. It's so much more than that. Let's open it up, check it out, and of course do some toy photography. My friends, fellow toy collectors, Dragon Ball fans, we have a very special and important Goku right here. And why is this one so special? Because this is officially the 100 millionth Goku ever made. Or something like that, probably, right? <laughs> Okay, so maybe this isn't the 100 millionth Goku, but Tamashii Nations has given us at least 100 Gokus at this point, probably, right? <laughs> There's definitely been a lot, and this one is a special one, for sure, definitely is. This is a Tamashii Nations store exclusive, which I did go to New York City Comic Con this weekend, and I actually did not buy this there. <laughs> I bought this at the Tamashii Nation store in Times Square. They were selling this at the Comic-Con, but it was all sold out, and luckily I went to the store first, and I picked this guy up, and he was $50, which really isn't a terrible price, considering it's an exclusive, it's an SH Figure Arts. It's definitely a very cool Goku, and there is one thing that is definitely very special about it, and here it is. The one special thing is, he has see-through hair. <gasps> We've had other ones with see-through hair before, right? This is definitely not the first one, but this one really did catch my eye, and I really wanted to pick this one up while I was in the city. And I'm a massive Dragon Ball fan. I don't really do a lot of anime on this channel at all, let alone Dragon Ball, but I pretty much feel like I have like all my main heroes in my Dragon Ball collection. I don't have a huge desire to collect more of it recently, but that may change because this is really scratching that itch. And this video will kind of be like a test. If you would like me to do more anime videos, please let me know. Depending on how this video does, I will love to do more because there's a lot of anime figures coming soon that I'm very excited about that I really want to get and make videos on too. So let me know what you think and if you're not subscribed anyway, please make sure to do that too. Lots of stuff coming very soon. <laughs> so it's actually been quite a while since I've gotten myself a new Goku figure. So what I want to do in this video is compare it to a bunch of really old Gokus, some newer ones to really see how far SH Figure Arts has come with their Goku figures and really see if this figure is actually special amongst all the Gokus that exist. And of course, we're gonna do some toy photography as well. I mean, come on. So I heard they're doing a big premiere of the first three episodes of the dub version of the new Dragon Ball series in theaters. And I'm really excited about that because I love going to the theaters. Obviously, I love Dragon Ball and I wanna see this new series and what better way to get me in the mood than to go to the theater to see it. So check your local theaters to see if it exists or check the QR code code I've got here to see if there's one near you. Are you excited for this new series? I know it's a little bit different than what we're used to, but I'm very excited. Let me know if you're excited for this new series. Okay, well, I didn't really realize that the entire freaking figure is translucent, but it's so cool. This figure is awesome. I mean, I'm getting this really great lighting right now because you can see the lines on my desk right here that it's very sunny. It's the end of the day. So I'm kind of really taking advantage of that and it looks really awesome in front of the lights and the light shining through it. It's so incredibly freaking cool. I don't even care about the rest of the figure anymore. I'm already on board. This figure is awesome and I'm totally Totally, I'm so glad I bought it. This is so incredibly cool. So Goku's clothes are all translucent, except for the blue, and his hair is translucent as well. You can see some of the joints back here are not translucent, which is fine, whatever. And he does come with some stuff, which I wasn't expecting that he was gonna come with other faces and stuff. I thought it was gonna be pretty straightforward. Yeah, he looks, he looks great. So incredibly freaking cool, man. So cool. So I bought this Goku over here quite a few years ago when they kind of made a big deal that, hey, we're actually doing a new, all new Goku design, sculpt and stuff. And he was only like $25 and that was a really big deal. Like, wow, get him for only like 25 bucks, that's crazy. And for the most part, I think it's still pretty much the same sculpt as this one. And the main difference is being the chest. There's more blue going on. He's got more of a V-neck. And his belt is different too. You know, it's the thicker blue belt. Obviously the paint in general. It's pretty much the same other than that. You know, it's got that kind of weird SH Figure Arts crotch thing happening that a lot of people don't like. Then the knees are exactly the same. The arms are the same. Obviously the head is different. But I'm pretty sure it's going after the sculpt of this Goku, which I think is a great Goku. I love this figure. I use this one all the time. I really Really love this figure. You can find this this same Goku now at Target, stuff like that too. It's a great figure. So as far as that's concerned, 
It's not any different than that. So this one here is, I'm pretty sure, the first Super Saiyan Goku that SH Figure Arts ever put out. Very old. I think I've had it since probably 2014. This figure is a perfect example of just how much and how far Tamashii Nations has come with their figures. <laughs> it's kind of a not-so-great figure. At the time, I was just blown away by it, but there's a lot more going on with the newer stuff now. The joints are pretty loose and... Just some things just don't really work very well, especially with the shoulder clothing and you know, this happens a lot. <laughs> You know, it's a little wobbly. It's come a long way. It's a very different figure. If anything, it's probably a complete overhaul. But there's definitely some some similarities here. There's probably some elements still from this old figure in this one as well. I mean, even just the hair is a big change. And the faces of, are definitely something that has been constantly evolving. So good job, Tamashi. You guys, you guys have been really working at it. So this figure here is obviously a completely different character almost you know it's the super saiyan 4 from dragon ball gt it's the most recent goku i think that i've purchased but i do really love this figure and i thought it'd kind of be fun to just compare to i guess it is still a goku figure and here it is and but yeah this this really is a fantastic figure absolutely love this character design so much love gt so this one right here is the imagination works goku which i don't think tamashi nations is going to be doing much more with this line anymore they seem to be done i don't think it really took off i don't think people really liked it in general i thought they were great obviously it's a different scale which kind of throws things off people don't want to start collecting a brand brand new scale when they've got a huge collection already, so I get it. But this was really a freaking cool figure. I have the Vegeta as well, and I, <laughs> I like those quite a bit, but oh well, that's totally fine. But here's a quick comparison, I guess, for that as well. So he does come with some stuff, which yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting. I thought it was just gonna kind of be like Goku and some hands. But he comes with another set of hair which is even more flowy. So this is more like Super Saiyan 2, actually. Yeah, this is just a Super Saiyan 2 hair. They're both very flowy because it's more like a powering up kind of look for Goku. So there's not really like a normal, comfortable Super Saiyan hair. And this is the Super Saiyan 2, I believe, because all of the, his bangs are sticking up. He's only got one thread of bangs, and I think that's correct. Oh, wait, no. The bangs just come right off. So, no, this isn't a Super Saiyan 2. So, I can... Just, hang on a sec. Or am I just being stupid? No, okay, no, I'm right. So when I put the head on, it does have no bangs. So yes, this is Super Saiyan 2. It's been a while, it's been a while, guys. He does come with two other faces. One's a real powerful kind of screaming power-up face. Another one's just another intense kind of face showing some teeth, which is great. I mean, we've kind of just get a normal intense face on there already, so this is exactly what I would want for something like this. Perfect. I'm not gonna go too crazy with articulation here because I'm pretty sure it's just about the same type of articulation you would expect from any of the one million Gokus that have come out over the years, so it's great. The, the articulation is certainly great, but I don't think there's any crazy advancements or anything since then. Man, he, he looks really good. I love this figure so much. Wow. So, as expected, this figure really isn't a whole lot different than a typical Goku figure. Yeah, his hair is a little flowy. We've got some good-looking faces, but we do have some really cool clear plastic. <laughs> and I will say, the clear plastic is a very nice. It's got some little bits of paint here just to give it a nice little bits of gradient translucency you know like the hair here is a glossy looking hair and the clothing is not glossy it's very matte it's very well done so I guess it's really up to you whether or not you'd like to think this is a W or an L I think it's a W for sure it's a fantastic fantastic figure it's not a whole lot different but the changes are very nice it's quite beautiful to be honest feels like a Super Saiyan can you imagine being 10 years old and seeing this figure oh my gosh like I don't know what I I would do with myself. Yeah, this is a W for me, for sure. Uh, I'd love to know what you think. Is this a W or no? Is this just another Goku? Come on. I love this thing. It's so cool.
So a couple years back, I did a photo with Luke Skywalker, like using the force and my hand was in it, stuff like that. So I have a kind of similar idea, which I think would look really great with Goku. And I really want to emphasize the cool clearness of everything and make it really feel like a Super Saiyan photo. So let's go and set that up and take the shot. Okay. Here we go. We are here in my kitchen as always, and I've got a pretty simple kind of setup right now. Goku is just flying, floating with lots of light around him. He is fully glowing right now, and the translucency looks real cool in camera. Totally blank black background. I've got my little poster board on my fridge over there, and my goal is to have a photo with my hand like this and it looks like I'm floating him in my hand and all of this light is just coming out of, of Goku. So essentially you would think that all I would have to do is just stick my hand under and take the photo. But no, I have to make it way more complicated than that. <laughs> I'm going to actually take two different photos. One of Goku just like this with all of this light glowing and making him look amazing, Super Saiyan power. And then I'm gonna do another one with just my hand. And the reason being, when I have my hand in the photo like this, the lighting on my hand looks really boring because of all the light coming from the outside of my hand. But what I want is the lighting to come from the inside of my hand to make it look like Goku is the one emitting the light, not these other light outside sources. So let me show you my test photos. So here's one of the test photos I took with my hand and it doesn't look that cool because you can see shadows and stuff from the lights coming from the outside. But if I go to one of these other photos here, you can see how the lighting coming from the inside of my hand looks really cool. And if I kind of combine that with Goku being there, it can really look awesome. I'm basically just gonna take one photo with Goku and some atmosphere aerosol spray and then another photo with just my hand with me holding the light <laughs> so it looks like Goku's the one emitting the light. So my settings are pretty simple. I've got f3.2 going on right now and my shutter speed's at 800. The shutter speed is still pretty fast because I can still get some nice crispy atmosphere aerosol going on when I spray it in there. And uh, my ISO is at 400 as always, so it's really nothing crazy. And as always, if you're in need of any of this atmosphere aerosol, the spray, any of the lights I'm using, any of the stuff I use, including the camera right here, the tripod, it's all linked in the description. I've got it all there, all the gear I use always there. Even on other videos, all the stuff I'm using is always there in the description. So make sure to check that out. Okay, I think I'm all set and ready to go. I'm gonna go and take this shot right now. safely say that this is not just another Goku figure. This thing is so much more than that, or maybe it's just me really liking cool, clear pieces of plastic. <laughs> if you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And this photo, as always, will be posted on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Make sure to follow my work over there as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and getting this far into the video, and I'll see you in the next one.